It's easy being watched 24 hours a day. It's easy committing crimes under their eyes, dealing with stone cold killers. People say this is easy. What's easy about it? You know what's easy? is sitting behind a desk all day for eight hours and punching numbers into a computer. That's what's easy. You took the easy way out. My name is Mark Silverman, and um, I used to be part of the Winter Hill Gang, and uh, as we're standing here in the Winter Hill neighborhood, uh, it's brought back many memories. It was a huge, close-knit family of mafioso, but they happened to be Irish. At my dad's house in the cellar, I had a bookmaking operation down there. When I started out, I thought I was going to be like the sixth family. You know what I mean? I thought I was going to be the big thing. And, you know, I had some drug dealing going on. A lot of mobsters lived score to score. And when we made those big scores, it was like party time. We would rent out hotel rooms, like a whole floor. And we would just have parties for like a week. And we were just living it up. It's no different than, I guess, a drug addiction. You're addicted to the power. You're addicted to doing whatever the hell you want. It sounds good to say, hey, I won't earn in your territory or I won't do anything. It's, it sounds great, but can you really keep that promise? I couldn't keep it in Southie. I mean, I got lured there to just do a deal. Most of my income came from the drug business, mostly marijuana. I mean, I had, um, I had a supply coming from uh, New Mexico to Arizona and all the way east. I mean, it was just a pipeline. It was a lot of marijuana. Anyways, uh, I put the duffel bag full of marijuana in the trunk along with a gun and we took off for the trip. When I pulled up, I popped the trunk, all of a sudden, bam! He cracked me in the side of the head with a gun. As he pushed me into the room, I looked up and I noticed that it was all lined in plastic. And my heart sunk. I could feel someone grab my hair and pull my head up. And when I looked up, there he was. It was James Whitey Bulger, the eyes of the Irish devil himself. At this point, I know I'm dead. There's nothing I can say, nothing I can do. I walked into it. Word on the street was, if you called him Whitey, he would cut your balls off. So I said, you're Jim Bulger. And he gave me a wry smile like, that's right. He said, now get yourself together. And if you ever show your face in Southie again, you're a dead man. And I didn't care that it was in Southie. You know, that's where the money was. I went and I did it. Unfortunately, I learned my lesson. This is what it's like being a mobster. You fend for yourself and you're constantly starting over. As far as being out of the mob, I don't think you're ever out. You know, you're really not supposed to get out, per se, because as they say, you, you, you come in and then you, you go out in a box. And that, that's the only way you leave. I'm starting over. Writing my fourth book, you know, so I would probably have to be insane to keep doing the same things that I did over and over again, right? Inside of me will always be that guy that did the things that I did. I pledged myself to that organization. I guess I'll leave it at that.